I've been back here since. But here I am for a few days. I'm going to be meeting not one, but two good friends that you may recognize. Alright, let's go find friend number one. It's a champagne and escorts. <laughs> oh! Who could it be? We are going out party. Straight away! I just arrived! <laughs> Guys, I am on the bus in Athens, on my way to the airport. I have one stop before we go. Oh, on my way to the airport, I'm gonna stop by the Swat store here in Athens one last time to try to get that legendary cheap Omega. <laughs> Wish me luck. So it's basically just along the way, so hopefully it won't be uh, too out of the way. All right, so it is just here, but it looks like there's other people in line as well. That's not good. Uh, hello. Uh, I called about the moustache. You have these three colors? Yes. Uh, can I try the earth? So it looks like they have Pluto, Saturn, and Earth in stock. Let's try on Earth, which I think is going to be the color I like. Yeah. How it looks. Yeah, I think it's okay. All right, guys. I just bought Mission to Earth. This was not my uh, number one color that I wanted. I'd rather choices were Neptune or Moon, but they're out of stock. But I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? I've had a show. Thank you very much. Actually, my favorite was, I think, either the, this uh, Neptune, the blue one. Or just like the classic moon, but actually I'm very. I think in person I like this more. But this one is your favorite, you say? Okay, it's my favorite. Okay. All right, guys. Now as you get it, and actually, I think I like this color a lot. Maybe it is my new first choice. I don't know if it's just like because that's the one I ended up with, or after seeing them in person. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Has a little Speedmaster strap, and it's co-branded Omega and Swatch. Now I gotta go to the airport. So from here, I have two options. I can either take the airport bus, which I think is a little bit cheaper, or I can take the metro, airport metro. You know what? Even though I didn't like taking the bus last time because it was annoying that I had to go to the, the bus station, I think I'm gonna take the bus because at least I'm above ground and I can use my phone. While on the metro, you're underground the entire time. And there's no signal at all. straight to the gate because I have my ticket around my phone already. All right, so we have just about an hour and a half before we board. So we are looking for, God, it's so hard to read. All right, it was here somewhere. A1823. All right, so I made it through uh, security and no issue and passport control. Uh, 
I, I'm surprised there's still no like electronic way for them to know how many days you've been in Schengen. I think I'm still under by a few, but they couldn't tell me how many I've left without manually counting. So I told them I'll count at home. Anyways, I've never tried this before, but I think if I have my receipt, I can get my tax or my VAT rebate. So let's hope it's actually in here. So I have a receipt. I don't know if this is enough or I need something special, but let me find out. Hello. Uh, I don't know, for a tax week? Yeah, you fine? Tax refund, you need specific forms from the store. Oh. Not only the you see? Oh. Okay, thank you. So guys, turns out I need to ask for a tax invoice and not just the receipt. I mean, probably wasn't like that much tax on it, but still, big purchase for you guys. 250 euros, that's probably the most I spend ever besides on like food and housing. But now we know guys. So let my lesson be your lesson. If you buy anything that's worth getting tax back on, ask for a tax invoice so you can refund it, hopefully. Anyways, let's see if we can go to the lounge for a few minutes before the flight. All right, I'm going to use SkyServe or I can use Goldar. Which one has better food? I think that's the one I was at last time and it wasn't that great. It was okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't amazing. So let's try this one instead. This one looks pretty busy, but let's see how the food looks. Actually, it looks really good. We have nice couscous, baked things, meatballs. Yeah, I'm happy. All right, so I had a little snacky snack, a little break. It was weird how crowded it was, though. I've never been in a lounge that crowded before since COVID. So maybe travel is back, guys. Maybe travel is full again. This uh, airport Starbucks is definitely pretty full. So is this uh, smoking lounge. All right, it looks like eight minutes. So I figured out why those screens are so hard to read and it's so hard to locate a flight number. First, it's in Greek. And you have to also have to wait for it to change back to English. And then it also just goes to some like random advert for some reason. So you have to wait like three cycles. But then secondly, it shows you times that have passed like four hours ago and forward until next morning. Like it's 5 p.m. right now. I have no idea why they're showing a time for 10 a.m. tomorrow. Like 10, 10 a.m. Like who the hell is at the airport 20 hours early <laughs> and like it's not gonna say anything <laughs> like Athens like sometimes too much information is also too much so I think my gate is downstairs upstairs is normally like nice and nice and lit normally down here there's not much going on but hopefully it'll be quiet so I'll tell you guys a secret I don't actually like traveling. Like, I don't like flying. I don't like going to airports. I know some people really enjoy it, but for some reason, these videos are super popular. Like, my journey to videos, where I'm just like leaving somewhere and going somewhere, I honestly don't know why people like them so much, but they're like some of my most watched videos. I have a theory. Oh, that's perfect timing. I guess I can go on, right? You know what? I'm gonna wait till everybody boards. I also don't know why people always stand in this line and sit on the plane for like half an hour when they can just kind of just wait around. I think normally people have to do it because it's hard suitcases. If they, there's no spot for you, you're kind of screwed. With the soft one, you can kind of stuff it anywhere. All right, so while I wait for this crazy line to die down, I'll tell you what my theory is and why you guys like watching these travel journey videos. I think for one, you like seeing something go from like one place to another 
because it has like a kind of like story arc. I don't, I don't know why I did that on the camera, but uh, secondly, I think you like to see other people suffer. So like it feels like you accomplished something, even though you are actually just sitting on your couch eating some uh, pizza or something while watching me suffer. Not that sitting here and having business lounge access, access is that much suffering, but still it's tiring to travel. I don't know why. Like here's the thing, strange thing is, like I purposely don't take early flights because I don't like waking up at 5 a.m. and rushing to the airport. But the 6 p.m. flights are kind of just as bad because you don't you can't really do anything the whole day. So the whole day you're kind of just like waiting around. You know, the Airbnb makes you check out at like 11 a.m. and you got to figure out what you want to do till then. If you get to the airport early, you kind of just sit around and kind of hang out. Uh, luckily, I, I felt a little bit accomplished today that I went and got the spot. But aside from that, it's just like an hour and a half to the airport, an hour checking in, going through security, an hour sitting around, an hour boarding the plane, a couple hours on the plane, and then another hour to get to the hotel. Oh, such a waste of time. This is why I wish I could go back to slow traveling, just like once every three months, two, three months, instead of moving around every week. All right, the line finally died down a bit, so I'm gonna join it, get on this bus. All right, so now we are on this bus, waiting to get on one of these planes. in Bucharest, back in Romania. It's been a few years since I've been here. All right, we are done. All right. So I'm gonna try to take the public bus. It's downstairs. It should only be about half an hour away. So let's take a look. Alright, so this is the bus right outside the airport. And I got a card for six lei. It's a dollar twenty-five. Alright. Book of rest. Alright, here we go guys. So here I am guys. I'm in Bucharest, Romania. Let's hope I don't get robbed. <laughs> I'm assuming it's relatively safe here, but yeah, I'm walking out my my camera. It's much bigger than I remember it being. Actually no, I remember it was big. It was too big, if anything. Wow, look at the sun, guys, the sunset. So I was here last, before I started vlogging, before I really made YouTube videos. I might have one video from Bucharest at Thurm Spa, beautiful place. I would like to go back. Uh, that was five years ago. I haven't been back here since. Here are the aqua massage beds. This is one of my favorite things. This is this awesome steam room here. 
All right, so here we see there's all the different baths. This one here is the mineral pool with dead sea salt, and you float so much in this. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna jump in there. Watch this, folks. This guy's gonna go in. He's getting wild. He's getting crazy. Things are getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a great time. He's splishing, splashing. Woo! But here I am for a few days. I'm going to be meeting not one, but two good friends that you may recognize. So, from the bus, I think my hotel is very, very close. And here we go, guys. Welcome to my hotel. Welcome to my hotel. Uh, I've already checked into the uh, Bonvoy app, but I didn't get a key. Uh, to mobile app? Yeah, Johnny. Yes, sir, I found a reservation for nights with the breakfast included. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. All right, guys. So Johnny is staying at a Sheraton. It's like a nice uh, hotel here. Normally, I don't stay in nice places. Remember this. Maybe it's going to be a trend, or maybe it's because I'm speaking at a conference here. I'll let you try to guess what the conference is. All right. What do you know? Fancy, guys. Why are you so this fanciness? There's even a Benny Hanna's connected to this hotel. That's how you know it's fancy. Let's check this out, guys. <gasps> da, 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 da. Not bad, guys. Wow. This looks comfy. Actually, this just looks like what every hotel in America looks like. But I think that's why people spend extra money for like Sheraton's and Marriott's. It's because they want the like American standard. They don't want any surprises. They don't want any like Soviet hotels. They want America's best. Speaking of which, let's check out this bathroom. Man, I feel like I'm back in like Florida or something. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Yep, got everything I need. Let's check out this view. Oh, that's a nice little surprise. And the $23 Evian waters. Let's see if Johnny can make this little moment here, huh? What do you think? Can you guys imagine this? Little reading book here. It's actually pretty nice. Come take a look. Look at this. This is actually a nice little surprise, guys. Nice view as well. All right, let's go find friend number one. Who is behind this door? Who are you guys guessing? Who is it? It's a uh, champagne and es escorts. <laughs> Oh, oh, who could it be? Hello, Nancy. Nice to see you again. You better? Yeah, good, good to see come you. Come on in, come on in. This wow. Is walking show. This is not the uh, Soviet hotel room for 10 quid. This looks quite fancy, mate. Most overpriced hotel oh. I've ever been to. Can't even open the windows. Uh-huh. It's a bloody nightmare. Don't take your shoes off. We are going out partying. Straight away. <laughs> I just arrived. <laughs> Oh, mate. All right, mate. Mate, what? I just realized what's on my room key. Oh, sure. Me. But why does it say chatterbaits <laughs> on your room key? What's going on in your room? Well, let's, I let's go find out. out. <laughs> <laughs> you think 
don't want to be seeing this in fucking porn contents. Well, welcome to my porn. Hey, how come right? yours is better? You've got a thing in your window. I know, right? How nice is that? I don't get that. How much did you pay? Oh, what the fuck? I'm going to complain. Oh. My view's better, but still. Yeah. Well, it's just the, everything else is the same. Bald, how did you not notice any of this? Did he, so Bald genuinely had no idea that the, the conf, there was a webcam conference here in our hotel until just right now. How thick are you, mate? When I checked in, none of this was here. Really? No. Okay, because now you chat. definitely can't. Strip chat? What strip chat? Ah, uh, I thought it was your favorite site, mate. Now. So, I hate to burst your bubble, because I'm sure you're expecting something completely different, but this is actually what happens behind the scenes at a webcam conference uh, for, you know, online models. Uh, a lot of it is just kind of marketing-based, uh, affiliate stuff, uh, payouts, and this is kind of things that I'm used to doing in normal e-commerce. I wasn't in the adult space, but I was, you know, in furniture and, you know, e-commerce in general. So I'm actually pretty used to this. Uh, but uh, a friend, which you're going to see in the next video, invited me here to the conference to be one of the speakers. And I invited Bald to come along uh, because it was his birthday. And I figured we can all hang out together and go to some good, you know, get some good food and go to some cool after parties and have a great time. So this is why Bald ended up coming. Even Welcome to um, Bucharest. <laughs> Bucharest, where we'll never rest. Made three days of madness. It's been a tough old journey, mate. I've got to start questioning whether I'm built for this party lifestyle. Yeah. I thought I was. I thought I was all about that life. And now I realize that I'm starting to question if that's true or not. So I've had seven hours sleep in the last three nights. It's, it's, been, it's been wild, man. It's been absolutely wild. Mate. Mate. Thank you so much for coming out to Bucharest to come hang out with me. It's been so much fun. Yeah. It's been exhausting. Yeah. Shout out to Dan Leo for inviting us. Dan, to legend. Party. Thank you, Dan. Uh, sorry, Dan, that you're not here for this dinner. You had a flight to catch for his immigration lawyer. But today's a very special day. Today is Paul's birthday. I don't say this much, but I have to be thankful to this guy for his friendship, but also uh, being a bit of a mentor and a little bit, a little bit of a speed boost to my channel because all of you found uh, me through him. So thank you, mate. Not a problem, mate. Cheers. Cheers for the invite. Cheers. And, um, cheers. cheers for you guys. Cheers. All right, guys. Look at that, I have, I have a fish on a fish. Oh, very nice. Yeah, what about I have tea? a fish on a fish. Fish on a fish. Mm -hmm. Mussels. And I have chopsticks to eat spaghetti with. I never oh, had chopsticks uh, before. Uh, those are breadsticks made. Gosh, <laughs> so old and so dumb. Now we need to see that it's actually a fish brand. Oh. I've actually never seen that someone eat a fish bone like that. With... Like a cat, like yeah. a... Take that hand away yes. and just eat it like that so I can oh, actually see okay. the long that it's here. So I only have one hand on it, so I can do that. That's it. That's it. But you were actually you, you oh, actually yeah. eat it like this, so this uh -huh. isn't just for the photo. It's so weird. Wait, really? Okay. Listen, let me tell you something. You wine snobs, you're out there. You like, oh I know this one, I know what Cafe Serbignon is. I know oh, what bloody that. Pinot Grigiogio is. But listen me. I don't care about that. Wine is to get drunk. Thank you very much. Are you a pirate? <laughs> I drink to get drunk. I don't care what it tastes like. Now it tastes like Sprite. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it, guys. The end of a good meal, start of a good life. For next time, the doctor. Hello, mate. <laughs> I, I could not believe it was your type. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is done. How are you doing?
Hello. I'm a big fan. You're going to be a star, you're a star, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I win. Which one? Like you, like your. Like come, no, come, come. I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm on a dev list. Yeah, no. yeah, she, I don't know who she is. Yeah, yeah, that's Is this, no? I'm a nobody, I'm a nobody. She's a Ukrainian. Ukrainian? Yeah, Ukrainian. That's what I'm known for. Yeah, for being yeah. Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Where are you from? You live with I'm here. Yeah, I'm from the okay. I used okay. to live in the UK. Oh, okay, nice one. In no, I'm Northern just um, I'm just here. I came for a conference. Uh, my friend Johnny was speaking, and so I came for a conference. So I'm not filming or anything. But maybe in the future. But I like it. I like the vibe. I went to like so I see some Ceausescu architecture today. Saw the palace, obviously. That's so, what you um, are yeah, into. Course, yeah, well, of course, exactly. So um, yeah, it's definitely a place I've come back to. But, uh, yeah, go to the seaside. If you go I, to the seaside, you'll find like uh, some deserted, in. like oh, yes. abandoned hotels from like the Soviet era. Oh my god! I'm not even joking. Really? Like you go to Olin, like those the the old people ones. Okay, okay. <laughs> and the old people. No, those ones. are like, those like, his favorite. Like, you don't go to like the big <laughs> Mamari or something. Mamari, no, like, the big the one. Yeah. 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 Okay, no, I want the abandoned hotels and I can find that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, why well, have you heard like that? Like Saturn, uh, they, they have like the the names of the uh, like planets. So Saturn, Saturn, Neptune, and like I have all these. I'm all about yeah. that. Okay, okay. All them, it's like yeah. communist places. Uh, did you hear that, guys? See? This is so random to People know that I don't want guys. the fancy places. He didn't say go to Tuya restaurant, the most fancy place in Bucharest. No, he no. said go to the abandoned hotel. No, screw that. Sure. You I should go sure. to like I authentic. I heard about this party at the seaside. I was referring to, to find films and horrors and drugs and stuff. That's pretty much every party. Wait, what a great no, ending no, to no, the video. I, I, think, I think it's like it's pretty little, much everywhere. It's like a little rave somewhere, uh, like sometime in August. And I was like uh, uh, kind of advised no, to go. I, I, that happens every weekend in Vama Veke. Vama Veke is like near Bulgaria. It's the la the last resort. Oh, we got the last Vekia. resort. <laughs> that's that's the place to be. That's you the go to Vama Veke, guys. Vama okay. Veke, horse and pimps and everything there. So. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of chavs. Okay, horse are mine. Oh wow! What do you call a chav in Romanian? Like, what's your version? Kokalar. Kokalar. Oh yeah, kokalars. <laughs> Subscribe, you cook a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's demeaning a little bit. It's not like. Yeah. Guys, you heard Chav, it here first. You cook a lot, you chav, you got mix. How do you say it in like, Slavic countries? It's like. Uh, Gopnik. Gopnik. Gopari. Exactly. Yeah, no, oh, I like cook a lot. Yeah. I like yeah. Anyways, uh, even though it looks like we're having a great time here in Bucharest, and we are, to be honest, this is kind of a, a sad uh, week because this after this, I don't know when I'm going to see uh, him or uh, my other friends again. So it's kind of like a big hurrah because my plan is and has been uh, for a long time to go back to Kiev. I really want to be able to help. Uh, and honestly... It's, it's hard to do from abroad, and this is why uh, we cannot forget what's happening in Ukraine. The war is still happening, and even though a lot of the people are okay now, the pets are really suffering. I got a call from Cynthia, and it was out of desperation. And she actually hates asking for, for money, because first, she's Dutch, and she's just like a very nice person. But second, she's already asked, you know, uh, for so many times, and we've already given so many times. But this time was kind of a... A desperate situation. Here's what's happening in Ukraine right now. So I will tell you what is happening right here behind us. We're getting 300 kilos of dog food for the shelter in Brovre. Uh, they said that they don't have any food left for the dogs. And I mentioned it to Johnny and he instantly said, I'll pay for it. And he basically transferred the money right away. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just amazed. Thank you so much, Johnny, for all your help. And thank you for your subscribers who donated to the GoFundMe to make this possible. So thanks to you, we're getting the 300 kilos of dog food and we'll show you when we deliver it. Uh, it really is a joint effort because without Cynthia and Vladim on the ground in Ukraine, I wouldn't know where to send the money. And if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos and supporting GoFundMe, we wouldn't have any money to send. And these dogs would literally not have any food to eat. They were two days away from having zero food left. And even though we need to figure out a long-term solution, for now, we just can't let these dogs die. Uh, and there's cats as well. So 
Thank you guys so much for supporting. There's links in the description box below if you want to send more money and be able to, to feed these dogs and help us find a long-term solution. <laughs> We're now going back home. It's, it's so warm in the sun there, but it was worth it because we pet so many sweet dogs and cats. Really, they, they are the best. And thanks to you, Johnny, and your subscribers. Thanks, all of you. They have food for at least the coming week. Thanks to the money that you sent to us through the GoFundMe. And it really means a lot to us, and especially to the dogs and cats. And it, um, yeah, it made the owners emotional. You can see that. It, it, yeah, it, it, it touches them. And, and they also are not sure of the future or what to do. They cannot really do their job right now. And it's, it's scary for everyone. So as long as we can help them, we can support them with your help, we will because it's needed and you can see where it goes. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, subscribers. Thanks a lot, Johnny. You're not here, but we cannot do much thank without you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. But when you're here, you gotta come there. You gotta see it. <laughs> you gotta pet all the dogs and cats. <laughs> Супер. Ну, ты есть какие-то волонтеры. Ты